Well, praise the Lord. Here we are tonight to go live for just a few minutes and uh, hopefully be a blessing to you. Uh, we had uh, somewhere lined out tonight, but with all of the uh, possibilities of bad weather and heavy snow, uh, a lot of folks uh, took precaution, and I understand that, uh, to go ahead and counsel uh, just in case to keep everybody safe. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and try to uh, obey the Lord tonight and be an encouragement to you. And uh, do pray for us because uh, we preached pretty hard this morning down in uh, Churchill, Tennessee. And uh, we uh, are not as young as we used to be, but we know it's all about God and not about ourselves. But if you have a Bible tonight, we'd like to turn with me to Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 20, and I will uh, ask my wife when she comes on here in just a moment uh, to make sure uh, the sound is okay, that you can hear me well before that I get started. I may need to turn this little microphone up, and uh, I don't want anybody to have a hard time hearing, especially once I get involved. Uh, I'm not going to probably even see uh, the phone. So if you can hear me good, just go ahead and send me a thumbs up here so I can see that from here. And uh, if I get, uh, see a thumbs up come up here in just a minute, then I'll know the audio is okay, and uh, we'll get started. Amen. Anybody? All right. Well, praise the Lord. Acts chapter 20, beginning to read in verse number 7. The Bible said, And upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, ready to depart on the morrow, and he continued his speech until midnight. And there were many lights in the upper chamber, where they were gathered together, and there sat in a window a certain young man named Eutychus, being fallen into a deep sleep as Paul was long preaching. He sunk down with sleep and fell down from the third loft and was taken up dead. The Bible said in verse 10, And Paul went down, and he fell on him, and embraced him, and said, Trouble not yourselves, for his life is in him. Wherefore, when, when he therefore was come up again, and broke bread, and eaten, he talked a long while, even to the break of day, and so he departed. Amen. And the Bible said, And they brought the young man alive, and were not a little comforted. Now would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come, I, I once again tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that name, I, I all that's above every name, God, we realize, I, I, without you, we can't do anything, but Lord, I pray tonight, Father, I, I, would you reach down and anoint me, your servant, I, I, with the Holy Ghost and with power, I, and Lord, I pray, as David said, I, I let the words of my mouth, I, I, the meditation of my heart, I, I be acceptable in thy sight. I, I, oh, my Lord, my strength I, and my Redeemer. I, and Lord, will not fail to give you the praise, I, I, honor and glory. I, I, for it's in the name of Jesus I pray tonight. I, I, amen and amen. I, I will, as I was driving down to Church Hill this morning, I, I, amen, I begin to think about this little portion of Scripture. I, I, amen, and how that Paul was there preaching. I, I, amen. But because it took a long time, I, I, he was a young man. I, I, you might say representing that next generation. I, I, because it had taken a long time, I, I had fallen into a deep sleep. I, I, amen. And I'm afraid tonight. I, I, much of our younger generation, I, I, many of them, amen, because of that loneliness, I, I, amen, they have fallen into a slumber. I, I, but we don't want to miss a window I, I, of opportunity. I, I, amen. I said when he fell asleep, I, I, he fell down from that third long. I, I, amen. But I've come to preach tonight I, I, just for a few minutes. I, I, amen. Don't miss your window of opportunity. I, I, don't let the devil I, I, distract you and get your attention. I, I, on somewhere else and some other thing. I, I don't where you begin to get drowsy. I, uh, where you begin to get weary uh, uh, in well doing, uh, uh, amen, and sink down to sleep uh, and miss that opportunity uh, uh, that God is set in front of you. Uh, uh, because the Bible said, uh, uh, so then faith coming by hearing uh, and hearing uh, uh, by the word of God. 
Amen. Oh, you can uh, Amen. Fell down and hot. Uh, God turned that bad situation into a good one. Uh, amen. He got back a second chance. Uh, but I begin to think of the many open windows uh, I found in scripture as I was driving down the road. Uh, and God would bring them to my mind. Uh, I thought about Noah. Uh, when he made that upper window there in the ark in Genesis. Uh, chapter 6 and verse number 14. Uh, Amen. I thought about how that if he had not put that window in, and he had missed that window of opportunity, how the enemy, I would have looked to discourage him, but God wanted him to have that window, out of where he could look up, amen. I like David who said, I'll lift my eyes, I hung the hills, I from whence cometh my help, I my help cometh from the Lord, I the maker of heaven and the earth. I, I, but brother, we are in a sea shine. I, I, folks are, are forgetting. I, I, to look up, amen, they're getting tired. I, I get in a spirit of sleep and slumber. I, I, what's it going to take to wake up our generation? I, I, brother, I'm telling you, Jesus I, I, is soon to come again. I, and you better be ready. I, I, God wants you to remember I, I, that window of opportunity. I, I, that he's given you. I, I don't let it pass by. I, I, because there is a real enemy out there. I, I, the Bible said so then the thief. I, I come not but for to steal. I, I, to kill and to destroy. I, I, amen. He's out there wanting to rob you. I, I, that break letting you get comfortable. I, I, amen. To where I, I, you're in the presence. I, I, amen. Of the preaching. I, I, but you end up going to sleep in mission. I, out that window of opportunity. Ha, and just like a Eutychus. Ha, ha, when he fell out that window. Ha, ha, brother, when we begin to turn a deaf ear. Ha, ha, to the preaching of the word of God. Ha, ha, it's going to cost us. Ha, ha, because we are begotten by the word tonight. Ha, ha, amen. God begin to stir my heart. Ha, and I said I thank God for my heritage. Ha, ha, I've helped that I come up ha, ha, under some good men of God. Ha, ha, that preached it, amen, straight and ha, ha, stout and true. Ha, ha, amen, it helped me ha, ha, to be able to grow in this day and age that we're living in. Ha, ha, it gave me a foundation. Ha, ha, brother, we need that foundation. Ha, ha, but now they're more interested. Ha, ha, I seem like in a lot of places ha, ha, in the gimmicks ha, ha, rather than the truth of the word of God. But I'm glad old Noah, I, amen, when he built that ark, I, I, he didn't, amen, miss that window of opportunity, I, I, because in the next couple of chapters, I, I, amen, like chapter 8, I, I, whenever he's waiting to get off the boat, I, I, he goes to the window, I, I, to let a bird out, I, I, looking for hope, looking for something, I, I, but like I preached many times before, I, I, you can read here in chapter 8, I, I've had that whenever he reached out, I, I, he went for a raven, I, I, which represents the flesh. I, I, amen. That flesh will never profit you anything. I, I, but amen. He didn't give up there. I, I, but that second time, I, I, amen. When he reached out, I, I, he sent a dove. I, I, just like it represented the Spirit of God. I, I, down in the New Testament. I, I, brother, I'm glad God will put a wind there. I, I, amen. And you can even the miss it. I, I, but reaching for the raven. I, I, reaching for the flesh. I, I, trying to comprehend it with a carnal mind. I, or you can reach up. I, I, let God reach down. I, I, let the Spirit of God I, I begin to move in your life. I, and brother, I'm telling you, I, I, he'll send that encouragement I, I, that you need right on time. I, I, but many times, just like Noah, I, I, amen, instead of reaching for the right thing, I, I will say, well, I'm not going to miss this window of opportunity. I, I, but we'll go to church with a uh, preconceived I, I, idea already. I, I, well, I don't like the singers. I, I, I don't like this person. I don't like that preacher. I, I, amen. And it's just like old Noah reaching for that raven. I, I didn't profit him a thing. I, I, but whenever you get your mind on the Lord I, and begin to lift him up, I, I, the Bible said where the Spirit is. I, 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 the Lord is, there's liberty. I, and brother, 
I'm glad tonight. I, I, amen. When you got your mind on him I, and you begin to look up, I, I, you see things are not as bad as they seem. I, I, but God is still on the throne. I, and prayer changes things. I, I, friend, I believe that. I, I, the Bible said the official. I, I firm in prayer. I, I have a righteous man of bill as much. I, I, but too many times we licked that window of opportunity. I, I pass us by. I, I, we let it slip by us because I, I, we're tired. I, I, we're run down in the spirit. I, I, we're weary and we'll do it. I, and many times like you took us, I, I, we end up falling down. Amen. Not running the race with patience. I, I better sit before us. I, I, amen. But I, I, you know, having that kind of complaining spirit. I, I, but I'm thankful for the windows of opportunity I, I, that God has put in my life. I, I, amen. I, I mentioned this one this morning down at the church. I, I, down there, brother. I, I, Dave Morlock's church where we were at. I, I thought about rehab I, and how that she let the spies. I, 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 how the window for her house was on the wall. I, I, hey, man, you know, there's some folks today. I, I, if they'd have been in that situation, I, I, they would have missed that window of opportunity. I, I, they'd have got so discouraged. I, I tell you that enemy's out there, friend. I, I, trying to discourage the people of God. I, I, the where you miss the opportunity. I, I, remind me of an old brother one time. I, I, he said, I can't get in that building. I, I hey man, I can't get in there. It's locked. I, I, but if he had read the sign, I, I, he'd have found out I, I, that it was a push I, I, instead of a pull. I, and here he was. I, I, hey man, trying to I, I pull it open and it wouldn't open. I, I, but he was pulling in the wrong direction. I, I, what about us tonight? I, I, have we gotten so used to hearing the gospel I, I, that we don't listen really? I, I mean, we're dying body, I, I, but our mind I, I, is a million miles away. I, I, brother, we need to get our spiritual ears on. I, I, for the Bible said, I, I, he that had an ear, I, I, let him hear I, I, what the Spirit I, I, is saying under the churches. I really believe that tonight. I, I, but so many times, I, I, you know, just like with family, I, I, sometimes even though you love them, I, I, you can kind of tune them out. I, I, you know, husbands, wives, I, I, folks that, amen, you care about, I, I, you can get so wrapped up with the things going on around you I, I, that you don't even hear them say an excuse me. I, I, trying to get your attention. I, I, maybe even tonight God's a knocking at your heart. I, I, but you don't seem to hear it. I, I, you become dull of hearing. I, and that window of opportunity I, I, is fastly slipping away. I, I, hey man, somebody said, well, I, I, what about them open doors? I, I, I love that scripture. I, I, there in the book of Revelation, I, I, where he said, I've sat before you an open door. I, I, no man can shut it. I, I, but he said, when I shut it, I, I, no man can open it. Open it. I, I, but sometimes, amen, I, in looking for that door, I, I, we miss the window. I, I, there's so many wonderful, I, I, beautiful scriptures I, about how that call is set before us. I, I, amen, an open window, a window of opportunity. I, I, but many times we miss some I, I, because I, I, we got our mind on something else. I hadn't done a live like this in a while. I, I, you know, a lot of times, I, I, folks that don't really know me, I, I, they get on there and they say, well, man, you're crazy. I, I, you know, squalling. I, I act in the shine the way that you do. I, 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 man, I said, you ought to be in church with us sometime. I, 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 man, this ain't nothing compared to the way. I, I, sometimes when the liberty is there, I, I don't really get excited. I, I, but if you knew where I come from, I, I, friend, you'd know why I'm excited. I, I'm glad I'm serving one that's not dead. I, I, my God is yet alive today. I, and I'm glad he's a way making God. I, I, one that said I'll make a way I, I, where they seem to be no way. I, and I'll work I, I, where no man can hinder. Hallelujah. 
But I said, thank God for these windows. I thought over in 1 Samuel, amen, chapter 19. When old King Saul was jealous of David. And David was down at his house. Amen. And Saul had sent men to get David. David, they were going to try to take his life. But the Bible said in verse 12, so Michael, amen, let David down through the window. And he went and fled and escaped. Hallelujah. I said, God. God made a way of escape for him. And friend, God wants to give you and I in these last days a window of opportunity. Don't miss it. But get in sleepy, amen, and mission. A move of God in your generation. Somebody said, I'm waiting for the outpouring of the Spirit. Brother, I believe God's here. I believe the lasting move of God. I believe we're in that generation. I, I believe he's waiting I, I, for somebody to get excited I, and come take hold of the plow. I, I hate man, not let it slip by. I, I mean, you're waiting for something else to happen. I, I, but don't you realize I, I, you got no promise in the mark. I, I hey man, today I, I, is all we have. I, and that's why I, I, the Bible said now I, I, is the accepted time. I, I, brother, we ain't God it tomorrow to rely on. I, I believe God right now. I, I said, what are we going to do with it? Hallelujah. Amen. What are we going to do with it? I, amen, man. I want to make use of that opportunity that he's given. I, I don't want to waste it sitting over in the corner. I, I hit man waiting. I, I, you know, there are times, I, and anybody that knows me for any length of time will tell you, I, I hit man, if you give me freedom, I, and you give me liberty, hey man, sometimes, I, I hey man, I gotta go, gotta go quick, I, I hey man, the spirit of God will move, I, I, but a lot of times, hey man, they are so close down, I, I, the service you gotta have, I, I, in some places seem like an hour, I, a hour and a half, even I've known of two hours, I, I'm singing, I, I, hey man, before they want to turn the preacher loose, I, and then after the singing, the praise of the worship, I, I, it's over. They're ready to go home. I, I, but brother, let me tell you, I, I love good singing. I, I, but hey, man, we need to get back our excitement I, about the Word of God. I, I, hey, man, because the Word of God I, I, is quick I, and powerful I, and sharper I, I, than any two-edged sword. Hallelujah. Hey, man, I had a friend one time. I, Amen. He was a Greek Orthodox man, a man that I worked with many years ago. And, I, amen. He said, well, I, I had to get you off my back. I guess I'll come to church. I, amen. And whenever I got there, it was kind of funny. He wasn't used to, I, I, you know, the, the style of preaching like we do. And I, I don't apologize for it. I've had him write me. I, I've had him tell me, amen, slow down. I, I've had him tell me, be more business like, I'm sorry, this ain't a business. I, I, amen. This is about obeying the King of Kings. Hallelujah. I, I've had him tell me all sorts of things. I, I, but he kind of, you know, got me tickled. I, I, because he said, uh, I, I, every time I tried to, you know, watch it, I, I, people kept standing up and raising their hands. I, he said, I couldn't see you. I, and then he said, who was that? I, I yelling, I, every breath. I, I said, well, you know, that's why they call me a carburetor. I, I said, I suck air. I, I hey, man, not something I learned. I, that's just how God preaches me. I, and brother, I tell you, I thank God I, I, that he saw something in me. I, I, amen. To allow me the privilege I, of preaching this precious gospel. Amen. I appreciate the Lord for that. But amen. I thought about what if David would have gotten so scared and said, man, Saul's trying to kill me. Amen. And they would have missed that wind of David. Amen. Could have been slain maybe. Amen. But God had a greater plan. And I, I thought about how many times maybe in our life I, I, that we give up when we shouldn't give up. That I, I, God has given us a window of opportunity. I, I, but what are we going to do with it? I, I, you know, I've seen things like that happen I, I, in the natural. You know, you get an opportunity with somebody. I, I, amen. To do something. Amen. Maybe they have a sale. I, I, down at one of the local stores. And, I, I, you know, they'd say, well, come. 
them out. Uh, but then by the time that you procrastinate and you put it off, uh, uh, hey man, you get down there, it's gone. Uh, uh, brother, one day the last message uh, uh, is going to go forth, uh, and hey man, it's going to be over with. Uh, uh, so let us uh, uh, not miss that uh, uh, window of opportunity that God has for us. Now, one of my favorite here in ha, ha, Second Kings, Amen. Ha, ha, Second Kings, ha, Amen. We come down to ha, ha, O King, Amen. Ha, ha, that was there. I, I, I think about it. Ha, amen. Think about the great famine that was there in the land, ha, and how that, Amen. It had been a tough time. Ha, ha, amen. They had struggled. Ha, ha, but Elisha told them in ha, ha, chapter seven and verse one, ha, ha, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Ha, I this saith the Lord tomorrow about this time. I, I shall a measure of fine flour. I, I be sold for a shekel. I, and two measures of barley. I, I for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. I, I did been eaten. Amen. I, I donkey's head. I, and dumb's dung. I, I did been going through a terrible famine. I, I, but then one of the I, I lords that I, I, who leaned on the king's hand. I, or whose hand the king leaned on answer the man of God ha, and said behold if the Lord would make windows in heaven ha, I might this thing be ha, ha, amen and he said behold thou shalt see it with thine eyes ha, ha, but thou shalt not eat thereof he began to doubt how can God do this thing I mean man we've come through a terrible famine look at all the things we've had to eat and you know be satisfied with and Amen. Oh, Elisha told him, he said, you're going to see it, but you're not going to be able to partake of it. He missed that window of opportunity because whenever it happened, he got trampled. Amen. He got run over by other people. And sometimes we get so focused on how bad things have been. Amen. We miss that window of opportunity that God has for us. Amen. You can read it and read the story and find out a little more. Ha. Or what about Amen, O King Jehoash? Uh, amen in Second Kings ha. Uh, chapter 13 that come down to see Elisha. Ha. Uh, because Elisha was fallen sick. Ha. Uh, where of the sickness that he died. Ha. And Joash the king of Israel came down to him. Ha. And wept over his face. Ha. Uh, man, he had a respect for the man of God. Ha. And he said, Oh, my father. Ha. I'm my father, the chariot of Israel, ha, and the horsemen thereof. Ha, ha, amen. And Elisha said unto him, ha, ha, take bows and arrows. Ha, and he took unto him bows and arrows. Ha, and the king said unto him, ha, ha, Amen. Ha, ha, I like this coming on down in verse 16. Ha, ha, amen. He told him, ha, ha, He said, I'm going to put my hands on your hands. Ha, Elisha put his hands ha, on the king's hands. Ha, and he said, open the window eastward. Ha, ha, he was trying to tell, O King Jehoash, ha, ha, hey man, you've got a window of opportunity. I know it looks bad. Ha, I know I'm getting ready to leave here. Ha, ha, but it ain't over. Ha, ha, God's still in control. Ha, and I've come to tell somebody tonight. Ha, ha, hey man, God's still on the throne. Ha, and friend, I believe he's given us ha, an opportunity. Let us not waste it tonight. Could you imagine how the king, in his strength, he's got his hands on that bow. And here's the old man of God that's sick and getting ready to die. Amen. Put his hands on his hands. And Elisha said, shoot, and he shot. And he said, the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. Amen. What about us tonight? Are we going to aim high? Are we going to let, amen, the enemy talk us down? I, I, I say it all the time. A lot of folks got a gloom, doom, and despair kind of an attitude. Amen, about how nothing ain't going right and how people just don't care. I tell you, God still got a remnant. Ha, ha, amen, he knows every hair of our heads tonight. Ha, ha, he knows exactly where we're at, ha, ha, what we're doing. Ha, ha, I don't know about you tonight, but as for me and my house, ha, ha, we will serve the Lord. Ha, ha, hey, Man, I don't know what you come to do, I, I, but I come tonight I, I, to make use of that opportunity, I, I, that window of opportunity that he gave me. Amen. Let me say this tonight now in the flesh. It would have been so easy, amen, sitting in the house. Amen. Saying, well, you, you done had a good service this morning. 
Hey, man, your appointment tonight got canceled due to the bad weather. Uh, why don't you just sit in? Hey, man, don't worry about going live. Hey, man, I tell you, I, I thought about it. Hey, man, my, my flesh was trying to wrestle with me. I, I, you know, and the enemy said, well, I, I, you know, you get critics. And I said, well, haters, they're going to hate. I, I, hey, man, I'm not here. I, I don't impress anybody. I, I'm here just trying to obey God. Hey, Amen. the way that he put it in my heart. I, and I said, I don't know what anybody else is going to do. I'm going to do what God's told me to do. I, I, hey, man, not miss that window of opportunity. I, I, hey man, I've seen so many I, I youth that I've talked to said, oh, I, I preach it when I get older. I, I'll get right with God and I'll serve him. I, and they never live to make it. I, I to that old age. I, I, you know, when I was a young man, I, I thought 30. I, I, man, that's getting up there. When I got 30, I, I thought 40. Hey man, crossing the threshold. I, I, hey man, now that I'm over 50. I, I, hey man, I thank God for his mercy. I, I thank God for his grace. I, I, but I've come to tell you, I, I, amen, time flies. I, I, amen, and if you're not careful, you'll miss the window of opportunity that God's got for you. Amen. God had one for the king here. God's got one for you tonight. But are you going to look in the right direction and are you going to aim high? Amen. A lot of times because we don't really understand what's going on, we just kind of half-heartedly Go through it because you'll read out here in a little bit on down in this chapter. He told him to take the arrows and they'll smite the ground. And I could almost see somebody saying, okay, there's one, there's two, and there's three. And the man of God got, you know, a little angry with him. Ha! I, the Bible said, ha, I, amen, ha, I, here in verse 19, the man of God was wroth, ha, and he said unto him, thou should have smitten five or six times, ha, I, amen, in other words, he should have went a lot further with it, ha, ha, but I'm sure the king, because he really maybe didn't fully understand, ha, ha, what was going on, ha, ha, he just smote three times, ha, ha, he said, if you'd have smitten five or six times, ha, ha, you'd have defeated the enemy till you utterly consumed them, ha, ha, now you're only going to defeat them thrice. Ha, ha, how many times? Ha, ha, amen. Is it because ha, ha, that we were not willing to go all the way? Ha, ha, that we missed out on that miracle? Ha, ha, that we prayed and we prayed and we prayed? Ha, and then when we get on the very threshold, ha, ha, receiving that miracle, we give up. Don't give up. Amen. But be like the Apostle Paul tonight and press toward the mark. For the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And brother, when you do that, amen, you'll see the hand of God move in your life. Don't miss a window of opportunity. I thought about old Eutychus again. Amen. How that, amen, here he is and Paul's preaching, had an opportunity for a short time. Paul's getting ready to leave. Amen. To soak it all in. And, and I know the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. I understand that. But amen, I thought how symbolic it is of much of the generation that we're living in. Amen, the word's going out on the internet and the radios and the TVs and amen, churches on every corner. And yet sometimes we find folks in the corner sleep because they're weary and well-doing. Amen, let me go in just a few more minutes and then I'll close. Get out of your way tonight. Appreciate the Lord for what I felt. Amen, already. Amen, Daniel chapter 6. Amen. This is when they had signed the edict that you couldn't pray to anybody but the king for the next 30 days. Amen. And the Bible said in Daniel 6 and 10, now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house. Now listen to this. And his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem that he kneeled upon his knees three times a day. And he prayed and gave thanks before his God, as he did aforetime. He didn't want to miss that window of opportunity that he had. I know they had said, don't pray. But he said, I'm not going to let that influence me or stop me. Amen. He knew the help that he needed was coming from God. So he was going to keep on praying. May I ask you tonight, where is trouble going to find you? Amen. Is he going to find you making the most of your windows of opportunity? Amen. The Bible said we got to work well each day for night is soon coming when no man can work. Amen. One day, amen, health and amen, times change and 
Amen. Won't always be like it is today, but we've got right now. So I, I love what Daniel did. Amen. When they found him, they found him just like before, crying out to God. Amen. Like the old song said, I kept on praying. Whoa. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe we need to keep right on praying and make use of that window of opportunity that we have. Hear a lot of people, amen, talk to me during Mondays, you know, during the prayer requests. A lot of times through the week say, man, I wish I'd have took better advantage of the opportunities that God gave me. Let this one slip up. Let this one go by. Sometimes hindered. Amen. Not moving forward the way that I wanted to. Amen. But, you know, yesterday, once it's gone, we can't get it back. But we can learn from it. We can ask ourselves, what are we going to do with it? Are we going to make better use of the window of opportunity that God has for us? Or are we going to let someone else, amen, dictate and change the way that we, amen, relate to the things of God in our life? Amen. I really believe that we need so much, amen, to get back to that window of opportunity, paying attention to those little things, those divine encounters that God puts in our path. But see, even in the New Testament in Matthew 25, Amen. A lot of folks recognize that as the parable of the ten virgins. The Bible said here, Amen. Uh, verse 5, While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Now, not just the unwise, not just the ones that didn't have the oil, but Amen, because it was taken a while. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. That means that could have just as easily been your eye tonight. And so we've got to make sure that we don't let these windows of opportunity pass. You know, there are a lot of folks that intended on going somewhere and going to church this morning. Amen. Probably never even woke up the world over. Amen. Their time came. One day our time will come. And our opportunity will have been passed. Amen. I'm telling you, there's so many wonderful scriptures about the windows of opportunity that God sets in front of us. Amen. You can even read in 2 Corinthians 11 as I close, verse 33. Amen. The Bible said, and through a window in a basket was I let down by the wall and escaped his hands. Amen. Why? Because the governor of Damascus, amen, that kept the city, amen, he desired to apprehend old Paul. But even though they were watching the gate, somebody opened the window, let him down, amen, through a window in a basket, and he escaped out of the hands of the enemy. So it may look like tonight as I close that you don't have a door, but do you have a window? Has God given you an opportunity, amen, and you think, well, that's not exactly what I was asking for. Well, it don't always look the way that you and I think that it ought to look. But I'm telling you, little is much when God's in it. So I feel like that I've obeyed the Lord and I've shared my heart tonight. And so I want to say this as I close and get ready to cut off the uh, live stream. Amen. If you're out there and maybe you're not where you need to be with God. Maybe you've let a lot of opportunities pass and you want to do better. And you'd like prayer. You can message me after I go offline. And I'll pray for you and pray with you. I'm telling you, time's running out, friend. Let us. Redeem the time for the days are evil. May God bless you. It's my prayer. And I hope and pray you have a good day in Jesus.